Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. The mornings are starting to get beautiful again. But I am beyond frustrated with the condition of the tractor. Every time I go up to bush hog, something breaks, something happens, and we had to we had to do something different. Let me let me show you what's going on. This is our 4052M John Deere tractor that we got brand new earlier this year. We've got right about 60 hours on it at this point. But look at this. Look at this piece of crap. This was a brand new bush hog that we purchased just before we actually got the tractor. And we've mowed with it maybe, we've mowed with it maybe two or three times and this thing has just torn itself to pieces. Spot welds are coming apart. It's ripped the entire top off. The entire support, it's just completely broken free. It's busted PTO shafts. I mean, the, the wheel has come off. We have had nothing but problems out of this six foot bush hog. And it wasn't even like we were overly rough with it. I mean, we've had a number of bush hogs that we've had out here with different tractors and never had any kind of problems like this. This is just a piece of crap. I mean, it's like made with aluminum foil or something. I'm not 100% sure. We've got to get this property cleaned up and get all the fields mowed. Bush Hog Hollow looks like a jungle and it's just out of control up there. I went on Facebook Marketplace and scoured it for the past two weeks looking for a heavy duty bush hog that was at least six foot. And this is the beast that we found. This is an older woods heavy duty bush hog. As you can see, it's got the reinforced steel plate it's been through some stuff. It's definitely not a new bush hog, but my goodness, this thing is rock solid. The only thing that it has an issue with is this little dent right here. And it did break the weld on that edge. That can be fixed if it causes any kind of problems with the blades, but we were told that it wouldn't. I was concerned about this. It uses the class two implement connections. So that's bigger than what we have on our tractor we've got the class one but we should be able to get something figured out to where we can uh, we can make this work worst case scenario it doesn't work and we sell it to somebody else who needs it now i need to figure out how to get this thing off the trailer because it's a beast All right, I think we got it chained up in a way that'll work. Whenever you're hooking chains, you always wanna make sure that your hook is around a chain link and not in the middle, because if it's going through the middle, it's just gonna spread that chain out and it reduces strength and end up breaking your chain. So I've got both the hooks on there. It's going around that back shaft that holds the thing up through from the, the back wheel there. So that should be strong enough. And it's got around these two pins, which hold it up. So that should be strong enough. Now I've got it being lifted by these forks. All right, we got a problem. It seems to be getting hooked up on the side of the, that's not a good sign. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can finesse it back away from the fender. We'll have to lower it down and then pull it back this way. It looks like we're free of the trailer. Everything except this back wheel, which if that's got a considerable amount of weight on it, it may tip the tractor over. That would be my only concern. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to, 
but we'll just slowly pull the truck out from underneath it and uh, hopefully the tractor will stay where it's supposed to be. Okay, looks like we're all still in one piece. The tractor hasn't tipped over. It's holding it up. Nice and steady. Yeah, look under here. Look at that. That is pretty significant. It's got the stump jumper blade on there, so hopefully it won't be uh, be bending or anything. Oh, look at the, look at that. It's like an inch and a half of steel right there. That is solid. I think that this is going to uh, to work really well if we can get it connected and working on our uh, on our tractor. Let's see if we can move it over somewhere where we can uh, where we can get to it. Now with them sitting side by side, you can kind of see the major difference, how much heftier this guy is. I mean, probably like half inch steel there versus three eighths inch. You can see where the top has added support and welded uh, plates on the top where this was just a piece of sheet metal. The one issue that I found is that with this being and the tractor being a class one implement this this is a class two and so what i've done i went down to tractor supply and picked up some class one bolts and uh just put those in the holes i put a little uh, collar uh, you can see kind of right here around the bolts so that it could hold tight but they're in there really good they're in there tight they're not going anywhere um but as you can see they're wider and the distance apart is a little bit further. Now, I believe that our tractor uh, lifting arms will reach that wide, um, but I don't know for certain. So I guess the only thing that we can do is bring the tractor over here, back it up to it, and see if it will actually connect to the, uh, to the implement. If it doesn't, then we're gonna have to step back and punt and figure out another option for us to, uh, to get this thing working. points are connected seems like it might work uh, I might need to get a smaller top link because that's gonna let the tail end of this kind of drag down a little bit but I think that it might uh, it might work out for right now anyways I wonder if I have a smaller top link somewhere no I, I don't all right let's see if this thing moves
It's definitely not perfect, but uh, man, it'll uh, it'll do the job. I need to get a shorter uh, top link, but uh, apart from that, I think it's gonna work out well. I think we're gonna get some mowing done. But I mean, look at this. It did a great job. That's almost as nice as a finish mower. That's pretty good. Alrighty, well, I do reckon that we're gonna maybe uh, take the gearbox off of this old J-bar and uh, junk it. <laughs> Cut some scrap metal out of it, I don't know. Uh, anyways, but uh, yeah, so fun stuff. New implement, big old seven foot bush hog. Heavy duty, I'm excited. So hopefully we'll be able to get some mowing done, get all ready for hunting season. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining at least, hit the thumbs up, let me know that you liked it. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and see more of what we've got going on here on the homestead. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.